Hey guys! So, uh, when I last saw you, we were dealing with the auspicious honor of trying to deal with a bomb disposal without using any A or B team soldiers, basically. Moving through a neighborhood in a major Chinese city. Um, I do think that that's one of the easier bomb disposals. I'm just gonna see who I've got. I think I have to exhaust a mech. I don't know, I got a Pathfinder. Maybe I go triple mech. I'm gonna wait five hours for Crenshaw. Okay, this is. Not a problem. This should be fine. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Bring a scout for the scans, you know. Yeah, I think that this should be a fairly straightforward mission with the team that we're able to field. Um, we might be screwing ourselves up for the next covert op, but no, it's not for a while. We'll be fine. This is a lot of the exalt soldiers, which actually works out pretty nicely. Because we're right in between exalt missions right now. Oh, I was going to not bring a Lai Wola, right? No, it was Ming, who's the covert op now. Let me make sure that I have a covert operative. Somewhere. We are on a covert operation? Wait, when's my op? I'm confused. It says to scan on the 29th. It's in five days, because they just... They just panicked me. Right, 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 I remember. Okay... Hopefully I don't need too many rockets, and also I'm expecting a weaker enemy distribution. So I'm gonna go with uh, a big rocket instead of a shredder. And the alloy cannon... <laughs> I think I can get away with Shred. And then... Bring some mechs. Jaeger is fragile, but... Try not to get it shot at. I'll actually give the Pathfinder the mech too. Try to make use of Lone Wolf. Also, he's got pretty good mobility. So maybe he can use a kinetic strike module. I'll give him core armoring to get him a little bit more tanky. And I think with the strike module, I can give him a scope too. That guy's a scary, scary mech. And now, Crenshaw just gets what's left. Kulhari is already equipped nicely. Good. And we're good to go. Oh. Dropship has arrived. If you fail these, they we're like into China for the next murder operation. you panic-wise. Okay, this is a small map. Unfortunately, I think that I actually benefit from open maps at this point, and this is a very closed off map. We've just detected a massive plasma weapon being primed for detonation in the area. If the aliens finish charging that thing and it blows, we're looking at mass casualties across the city. 
objective updated. So I want to start stuff off by trying to work out what's going on. Incoming signal from battle. I only have two scans. One muton, one seeker, one floater. Got no squad sight, but this is a really nice little passage to fight in. And we're closed off from other threats, so I'm just gonna start fighting these guys. Yeah, that looks about right. I didn't bring an engineer, which is pretty dumb. This should get us a lot of the way. To ward, clearing the pot out. Unfortunately, everything's still in cover. Uh, this truck's gonna blow up. Bring Olaiwola here and see what I've got. 85% on the Seeker. I'll take that. I could have left cover and had a free shot. Wow, gave me a free shot. Let's go again. That was a lot of damage reduction, but that's in large part because it's a shotgun that I'm shooting with. Well, Hari is proccing Executioner here. I think I should just take these shots. Bye -bye. Now there's just one floater to deal with. Someone should probably be able to hit that. Maybe something like this. No. Yeah. Um. Okay. I want that thing to be dead. Oh, I didn't check the motion tracker. Look at all these nodes. That's so many nodes. Nice. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't really be much different from a lowish threat abduction, honestly. It's a promotion on the Jaeger. Nice to have. Good to go. I'm gonna send Kolhari around hitting nodes. And... Gallop boldly forward with my Marauder. I'm gonna try to put together a two-turn plan. It's a way to deal with those mutons we just saw. So if I can On my way. slide into Stop. here. Ooh. This guy's even on the map. Excellent. That's another one down. Okay. We're fighting already. Let's move Crenshaw here and see what happens. It seems like it's time for the other rocket already. Let's 
Should remove a very good amount of cover. And that'll be that pod dealt with. Oh! Come on, counter. Well, we still got one of them. out if I can just leave my mechs right here or if it's too dangerous that's zero energy on that power node strike one I repeat power node deactivated so I have to work out what allow you all it does here I think I'll just fall back Get these guys in defensive stance. Hunker everyone who can't afford to take a shot. And is at risk of taking one. <laughs> My mech should be in position to clean up the remaining two mutons next turn. Or just this will happen, I guess. <laughs> okay, some damage, irrelevant. What was that? Did he just open the door? Oh yeah, we've got some more mutons to kill. I'm gonna use my last, last motion tracker charge. Looks like the other pod that we saw has run off somewhere. I don't know where. Anyway, we should be able to pretty convincingly get started on these guys. You can't see him? That's goofy. I actually have Steadfast here, so no fear of Intimidate. I really should have brought some grenades. Okay. But I didn't, and I haven't. Okay, I'm gonna try to... Well, actually, this guy's dead to regular troops. No, he's in cover from that direction. Perfect. Just gonna flamethrower him. Good. And then I should be able to combo the Pathfinder and Jaeger. Kill these guys. Ooh, we're running out of bullets. percent no okay that was underwhelming I guess this strike module doesn't work from here uh so I do have command available. I 
don't have any suppression. Maybe I can get away with a hollow target followed by a disabling shot. It's gonna be my plan. And then over here I can hopefully use command to finish that guy off. Another power node down. Shit. I'm gonna overwatch then. I guess. That's affirmative. It's a little bit dodgy what's going on right now. Oh, I moved her to the wrong place. I'll be okay. Okay, 57% of the time this guy's disabled. Oh dear. Uh, I was gonna move him back to better cover too. Well, this has not gone super well. Let's overwatch here. I think just overwatch here. At least we like... Oh, we didn't get an overwatch off. That's rude. Just shooting a mech, though. Gotta make sure I don't get these suits damaged. I want to use those pretty soon. Oh, fuck. Wow. I'm glad that he shot that guy. So I would really prefer not to pull another pod right now. Just scanning squares because I'm out of. Out of other ways to clear that zone. <laughs> I think it's time to use my second battle scanner here. Whoa, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have to reload there. That was the weirdest bug I've ever seen. Let's see if I can find that. Scanning target what is this, the now. fourth pod? Okay, we've got floaters. They are one, two, and a muton. They're not gonna see me move through here though. I hope. Ew, I'm out of bullets. Position confirmed. Yeah, I've got like a Jaeger to come through next if necessary. I need ammo. Probably worth doing anyway. You're so slow. Oh, there's a Pathfinder in the way. All right. I think we're in a good enough position that I can think about putting that kill on somebody else. On my way. Admittedly, I should have thought about it before I made the move, but there you go. Adjusting aim. Gotta start being more careful about putting damage on some of these guys, though. Just trying to kill these with other means so I can get reloads. Well, I can reload with Crenshaw. Okay, I'll trust Crenshaw with that shot. Let's dash a Rocketeer here and try to get a good thingamajig out the door next turn. On my way. Shredder Rocket, that's what I've got left. Let's do this. I 
my turn? That's no, my turn. Okay, but it's a clear map. I think it's likely that there are power nodes on the roof here. Power node, power down. I'm gonna take a slightly slower couple of turns and try to set up intelligently for this next pod. See any. On the move. Get it there now. That's a bird. Rocket there, Marauder here. Gonna use Mist. It's not nearly as exciting as when the Guardian uses it, but well worth it right now. Just plus five. Grouped up for a rocket. If I can throw one at them without them seeing me, maybe. No. Let's see where they go, though. Oh wow, that seems good. So before anything else, let's fire this rocket. So 100% shred through the truck. Where did those guys' health bars go? I'm gonna keep piling experience onto Alayuola as much as he can get. Got a 100% here. Okay, that's pretty good. Heading to that location. Let's give my Jaeger a shot at this floater. It's interesting how much better somebody gets within the zone as they increase their uh, stat points. Like the difference between an 85% and a 100% shot when you have in the zone well is absolutely gigantic. Okay, so I suppose that my problem now is that I have all these mechs who cannot go up on rooftops. I think it's a clear map. But yeah, that's going to make this a little bit tougher. I'm going to try to encourage aliens not to deploy on rooftops I get, I guess. Oh, Kulhari. <laughs> the, the age of the infantry may be over. Target confirmed. On our way. Definitely a clear map. Oh, we can't open the door. Yo, where's the bomb? Over here. Okay, so I'll hit that like next turn or something. Just gonna try to cover all the edges here. 
Yes, sir. Well, I will up on this rooftop, and I have one more soldier who can climb on roofs. I'm gonna try to deploy my mechs sensibly around the map. Pathfinder will like come out here. Let's just leave the Jaeger patrolling in here and the Marauder I will put all the way at the bottom. I'm gonna try to control the entire map. Oh, against the droppings. See how it goes. Maybe terribly. I seem to play this very wrong based on how well it doesn't work. <laughs> how not well it goes whenever I do this. Boom! Seems like he could just like keep running. Probably. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. That op zone is about to get hot. Hostiles are inbound to your location. New objective received. I ain't going. Affirmative. Covering now. Nice deal, Commander. Okay. Who know? Those. Trace. That guy's flanked. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Cinco. Um, I think that was all pretty good for us. Like there's a guy here who might actually get a shot off on us, but that's about it as far as threatening stuff. I'm just gonna tank this shot. It's not gonna deal real damage. It's not going to deal any damage. There's one dead. Here, I'll just run this Overwatch too. Oh, I just removed my damage reduction. Okay, that's a little awkward maybe, but yeah. <laughs> Um, it's totally fine. There aren't enough aliens for it to matter. One, two, three. I don't remember where the last one is. Oh, it's right there. Four. Okay, a bit of a love tap from the Thin Man. promotion on my Pathfinder. Now if I can hit this, or actually I have sniper support, right? Why do I not? Hmm, I don't know. Well, let's try to kill this guy with Moxarage then. It would be nice to... Uh, well, that's a dash anyway. Alright. Well, it would be nice to kill this guy here. Cool. Now, Alayuola can go... Mano a mano. With the remaining Thin Man. 
You guys, alright, we were just finishing this up. You know, I'm not sure that that's actually the wisest thing to do. To that location. It seems quite non-wise. So I'm going to just try to round this guy up more safely. The problem is if my assault deals low damage, which is fairly likely, so. Thin Man gets to shoot him back. See, this seems much safer, because now if I don't deal enough damage, maybe it wasn't actually possible to deal less than 7. That's it. Bomb disarm. Um, but if I didn't deal enough damage, I wouldn't have been flanked, so I would have taken a shot, but not enough to kill, hopefully. Hopefully. They can still deal just as much damage to you if you aren't flanked, it's just far less likely. Missions like that really set the tone around here. Great work, Commander. Man, they really love me here at XCOM HQ. So, my thinking with the Jaeger had been that it actually gets quite tanky at this point with damage control. Maybe I actually just want to go full out damage though, which would mean aggression and bring him on. You could also go squad site, but that just doesn't seem like quite what we're doing. I think I'll just try out aggression. I've got the 10% crit chance, 10% crit chance, so I do have all the crit chance I can get so far, except for lone wolf, fuck. That'd be 60% crit? Hmm. 50% crit is all I need, I think, because I get 50% from flanked aliens. So... I think this is okay. 114381 to 114383. Not the best level up. Not 0.3. He's still doing okay, though. And then Dostoevsky is also leveling up. I think I'm going to rely on Guardians enough that Repair Servos aren't that exciting. I think I will probably build a second Guardian at some point. Which means I think I want Ranger. I just really like the one damage. I think it adds up to a very large amount. I could also go full out crit on a Pathfinder. I think again though, you have enough already without going for the stuff on Executioner. 93871 to 939.73. Something that's informing my builds a little bit here, this guy's got terrible, terrible stats, is that my mechs aren't that tanky yet at this stage in the game. Later on, once I'm getting mechs threes and stuff, I think I'm going to be building much tankier mechs. But these guys right now, I think, are most exciting because they output a very large amount of damage. Four meld on the mission, we 253 bucks. Touch, Commander. We're back in the green. And I think that it might be time for the base assault. It would be really awesome, just incidentally, if we got a bombing mission over Argentina right now. Also, I looked it up, and I do have a 50% chance of it not leaving, despite being at full panic, because I do have a satellite over it. So, 
things to look out for. Van Dorn's back. Devin is back. Chuck, 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 It's back. Figster's ready. Guilo is ready. Zeranoglu's back. Pulson's back. These names mean a lot to me, but maybe not to you. Caused by killing an enemy can now be channeled into a hormone cloud, making it contagious. Mm -hmm. So we've got adrenal glands on Olsen. And he's ready to go. Here's the sectoid commander research done. That apparently gives us nothing. Um, I was going to interrogate a sectoid commander at some point. Interrogating heavy floater gives plasma weapon stuff that's not that exciting. Maybe I should do the drone autopsy real quick, just so that I don't... Well, I won't be able to finish any of these, because I'm going to start on alien power systems immediately after the base assault. Maybe I'll just grab this. I'm not sure how long it takes. I do have a lot of scientists. If it took like six hours, I could have vital point targeting on drones. Here's my skeleton key. I probably want to be building another one already. Right, skeleton key. 3rd November. I guess not. I guess I worked it out and the answer is no. That said, I think we're ready. And they say... She's in the class 18. Stuck in her daydream. She's got purple eyebrows. <laughs> this entire time she's been wearing sunglasses and I had no idea. Alright, and now they disappear. Yella Lopez. I think that when people get removed from the A team, which is going to happen to a few of these guys, they're going to lose their cool helmet. I didn't work out exactly how I'm equipping the team yet. I just automatically click on the wrong one. Oh, look at the size of that roster. So... Where's my Valkyrie? I'm exhausting Hicks. What's going on here? Am I exhausting more people? I'm missing... One... Bionic Soldier. It's not an assault. It's a Rocketeer. I'm missing, missing Vasconcelos. He's in Psy training, right? No, he's... Where are you, dude? Fatigued for two days. Alright. I guess I decided that I was going to fatigue him at some point. Then I was going to bring my guardian, who's getting exhausted. And I was going to bring my higher level pathfinder, who's also getting exhausted. Yeah, so because of the terror mission, we're exhausting some more people. Pretty low on laser pistols. That said, I think that the infantry is a really good place to have one. And fairly normal infantry loadout for Olsen. On Gano, I'm gonna try to set up with the long rifle. Depending on which base we get, there can be a lot of really nice long hallways. I'm wondering if I should go with something other than the standard alloy plate. I don't think so. I don't think there's enough exciting options right now. I don't have the Gauss Auto Cannon, whatever it's called. I'm 
I'm gonna give Lopez a motion tracker though. They just look goofy wearing these helmets and wearing using laser weapons. I think that my engineer needs to be quick. Mm. It probably matters a little bit more for my medic. I'm gonna bring six alien grenades. There's my last laser pistol already. I think that that works out though. Fairly boring medic build. Unfortunately, we could have had plus 10 defense on basically everyone in the squad if we'd gotten luckier with uh, rolls. I got four dense smokes. I've got two chem grenades with bombard as well. This will be a very valuable soldier. And with the one med kit from field medic, this is my ability to stabilize somebody if anybody gets knocked out of the fight. I think I decided it was going to be my Valkyrie wearing the mech too. No, that can't be right because he just shoots twice. My Guardian? Ooh, let's finish equipping Bionics. Commander Hicks. I'm going to give the alloy strike rifle to Marksman scope as usual, alloy plate as usual. Vasconcelos, this mission is just going to be all about having a lot of rockets. So that's the entirety of his inventory space. I sort of like a laser rifle on him. But I'll go with the stutter gun. Four to six. Four to six. They deal the same amount of damage, but the stutter gun has a little bit of DR as well. Or DR piercing, rather. Okay, and I have to work out my mechs. Somehow. So I have one mech, two. I have to work out how these guys look. So the Valkyrie tries to like stand at max range and have max walk into him. I think it's fairly clear that he just needs a uh, mech one. I've been going with the idea that he only has to hit to do what he needs to do, so I'll go with the laser lance. And he's gonna be my most defensive mech, so I think I can get away with high capacity mags on him. My Guardian is going to be doing the tanking. I'm gonna give her... Hmm. I'm gonna give her the KSM. And I'm gonna give her both armor items. So she's sort of the centerpiece of the front line of my squad. And then Yildirim's gonna be harassing from flanks. Trying to just output a lot of damage on uncovered targets. The flamethrowers are probably not the right secondaries for this one, but they're what I've got. Scary looking team. We've got one, two, three, four, four master sergeants, three gunnery sergeants, and two tech sergeants. That doesn't add up to ten. Four gunnery sergeants. So this is also a team which is going to continue to get stronger over the next month before it sort of hits its peak, which is good. There's going to be a little cycle going on with this team where I go on a base assault and then I work out how to incrementally improve it over the course of 13 days or something probably because that's how long one mech 2 takes to make and then I finish improving it and send it on another mission. 
There is no retreat from the space assault, and I am sending everything I've got. So if we lose this, probably campaign's over. Thanks to Dr. Valen's research uh, and some clever developments. Please down remember this that you have clothes on this mission. To breach the alien compound. Yikes. We only got one chance to make this work though. So let's make sure we do it right. All right. I'll see you guys next time for Operation Rotting Crown.